Managing weed growth in fallows is critically important to reducing the weed seed bank in soils and therefore increasing the competitive ability of the following crop or pasture. Importantly too, good fallow management can mean a significant increase in crop yields through retention of moisture and nutrients. Some research in central New South Wales has highlighted that 50 to 60 per cent of our yield potential is derived by controlling summer weeds during the, the fallow period. And that yield benefit is largely driven by increased soil moisture storage and also just as importantly conserving extra nitrogen. So every millimetre of moisture that we conserve during the summer fallow period also conserves an additional 0.6 units of N. So when you're controlling summer weeds uh, not only are you conserving moisture but you're also conserving nitrogen. You lose nitrogen to, through two different pathways. So when we have a summer weed like this flea bane plant getting grown, obviously we're going to lose nitrogen into the, the weed carcass. So we're going to have nitrogen stored or lost um, in the carcass, but we're also going to dry the soil profile out. Therefore, we're going to reduce mineralization. So in the summer period, if we can have a nice moist soil, uh, conserve any rainfall that does fall, the longer that we can keep it moist, the longer we're going to have more mineralization driving uh, that free nitrogen. So as far as yield benefits are concerned, we've been getting, been getting anywhere from uh, a yield increase from wheat from 2 to 4 tonne to the hectare. In canola we've had yield increases from 1.2 to 2.5 tonnes to the hectare just by controlling our summer weeds. And it's been important to note that next year we don't know what the season's going to turn up, whether it's going to be a wet or dry year. However, controlling summer weeds seems to work over a diverse range of seasons. So if next year is really wet, the grain yield is going to be derived, or the grain yield increase is going to be derived from that extra nitrogen that we store within the soil profile. However, if it's a dry year, well, the yield's going to be derived by having that increased moisture within the profile. Look, another key point is if you've got a pasture that's got a strong nitrogen status, it might have come out of a uh, pasture phase or it might have come out of a, a pulse break crop, uh, obviously you've got more to lose. So you really want to make sure that you control your summer weeds to retain that nitrogen that you've been building up. Look, we, we really shouldn't be surprised that controlling summer weeds works uh, so well. Uh, over a diverse range of seasons. So grain yield is a function of grain number and grain size. So if we've got more nitrogen within the soil, we're going to get more tillers, more grains per tiller, and soil moisture is obviously going to mean that we get more plump grain. So uh, controlling summer weeds is going to have a really big effect on grain yield. As far as spray timing is concerned, uh, generally speaking, uh, the trial results have shown that you're better off to leave it about 10 days after a significant mm -hmm. rainfall event and then spray when the weeds are nice and small. Uh, they're easy to kill and you also haven't had any negative losses. So you've retained that moisture and therefore you retain that nitrogen as well. Basically the greater the delay in controlling your summer weeds, the greater the loss in moisture and nitrogen and also you're going to have a lot harder plant to kill. Obviously when you're discussing herbicide options, uh, chemical types with your local agronomist, uh, keep in mind what, nec what next year's crop will be and any plant back periods that will be associated uh, with that. So uh, cultivation is another form of weed control and look there is certainly nothing wrong with cultivation for controlling weeds. The key thing is is that you actually kill the weeds. So whether it's herbicide or cultivation um, we haven't been getting any significant differences between them. If you have herbicide resistant uh, weeds then a really good option is, is to cultivate. So that's fine, it, it, it's a, as I said, that's a quite um, valid way to, to reduce or manage those weeds, but you have to be aware of the reduced um, amount of infiltration, rainfall infiltration, that you, you'll suffer as a loss as a result of that cultivation. So you'll get a, um, the immediate uh, infiltration will be quite high because that surface, that cultivated surface will fill up, but because you've disturbed those macro and micro pores leading to deeper drainage, then once that first areas filled up, you'll actually reduce your infiltration. Conserving soil moisture and nutrients through controlling weeds in fallows can result in significant increase in yield while reducing input costs, particularly nitrogen fertiliser costs for your next winter crop. 
The retention of moisture can also act as a buffer against poor spring rainfall conditions and enable grain fill in crops that may otherwise be affected by moisture stress. Please visit our website and join our social media networks to access further information on this and other topics for your farming system.